Hi. I'm sitting in my backyard today. It's um, a beautiful day out, but yesterday it was kind of windy at my house. Um, I want to sit in my backyard and read to you one of my favorite books, Over in the Meadow. And I like this book because actually I can sing it to you while I read. But this is a counting book. And there's rhyming words in here. Um, and after I read you this book, I have something very special to show you that I think it fell out of my tree yesterday when it was windy out. I found something really special in my yard. So I have something here to show you after the book. So this is Over in the Meadow, illustrated by David A. Carter. Remember, the illustrator is someone who does the pictures. Over in the meadow, in the sand and the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother, I dig, said the one, so they dug all day in the sand and the sun. What number comes after one? This is a counting book, remember? Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue lived an old mother fish and her little fishes too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam all day where the stream runs blue. How many babies? One, two. Good job. What number is next? Over in the meadow in a wide oak tree lived an old mother owl and her little owls three. One, two, three. Who said the mother? We who said the three. So they hooed all day in the wide oak tree. Over in the meadow by the old barn door lived an old mother rat and her little ratties four. Gnaw, said the mother, we gnaw, said the four. So they gnawed all day by the old barn door. Do you hear the rhyming words? Door four. Those are rhyming. There are four little ratties. What number is next? Over in the meadow in a snug beehive lived an old mother bee and her little bees five. Buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed all around in their snug beehive. Want to count the babies? One, two, three, four, five. Five baby bees and then this is the mom. Over in the meadow in a nest made of sticks lived an old mother crow and her little crows six. Caw, said the mother, we caw, said the six. So they cawed all day in their nest made of sticks. What is a crow? Yes, a crow is a bird. It's a mother bird and she has six babies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. They are in a nest built of sticks. Hmm. Over in the meadow where the grass grows even lived an old mother frog and her little froggy seven. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the seven. So they jumped all day where the grass grows even. Over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived an old mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked all day by the old mossy gate. What number is next? Over in the meadow in the pond by the pine swam an old mother duck and her little ducklings nine. Quack, said the mother. We quack, said the nine. So they quacked all day in the pond by the pine. We got one more number left. Over in the meadow in a cozy weed den lived an old mother beaver and her little beaver's ten. Build, said the mother. We build, said the ten. 
So they built all day near their cozy weed den. Oh, this mom has 10 babies. And that is the end of our book. Hmm, can you guess what I found in my yard that I want to show you that I think fell or blew out of the tree from the wind? Because it was something in the book. Remember the mom that had the nest built of sticks and all of her babies were in here? I found a bird's nest. And it's very fragile. Um, some bird made this for the babies. It does have a hole in the bottom. Can you see? I don't think anybody was using this nest because it looks kind of old. Uh, but I did find it on the ground, so it must have come out of my tree in my backyard. Hopefully, there was no family trying to live in this nest because it's no longer livable. There's a big hole in the bottom. But I thought this was really cool to show you guys. It looks like it's a nest built of sticks, just like in the book. Looks like there's moss, there's sticks, there's some mud. Mm, what else do you see in there? Maybe after the next windy day, you can go on a hunt for something that might have fallen out of a tree. What else falls out of trees? Maybe leaves, little sticks. Maybe you can find a bird's nest. Okay, I will see you next time.